Hello and welcome to this episode of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we are looking at the complete trim panel kit for the Austin Healey 106 BN4 model. Now this is for the early BN4, so that's chassis number 468959, often referred to as the Longbridge style cars, but strictly speaking, they did change the Abington factory in the middle of this production. So always best to go by the chassis number as there were some subtle changes between this and a later BN4. The later BN4 shared the same trim as the BT7 3000 model, but this is the early BN4, so it's strictly the 106 uh, four-seater version here. The majority of the changes happen at the rear of the car related around the B-post uh, wheel arch quarter panel areas. It's all related to a change that happened in the hood frame mechanism. Basically the earlier cars needed a bit more room for the clunkier bigger hood frame whereas the later cars they designed a bit more of a nimble and smaller hood frame that could fold behind the folding rear seats a bit easier and therefore they changed and enlarged the rear quarter areas whereas this one here was for the uh, smaller rear quarter areas uh, to allow for the larger hood frame that being said let's dive on in so this is the full trim panel kit we sell it as a trim panel kit or all of the items individually within the kit sold in car sets so for example the a post footwell panels are sold as a pair door panel mains are sold as a pair etc but if you buy it all together as a kit it does work out significantly cheaper uh, available in vinyl as this kit is or in full leather if you prefer the only one anomaly in this kit is the dash top panel at the very front there this is a trimmed dash top panel the trimmed element of it is an optional extra we supply the material loose as part of the trim panel kit but if you want it fully trimmed up on you woodwork then that is an optional cost on there so just bear that in mind uh, this has been done in our AH blue vinyl see there we do offer two blues for the Healy range we've got AH blue and dark blue they are both uh, should we say inverted commas dark shades of blue but AH blue is slightly lighter dark blue is darker uh, both are original depending on who you ask um, hence why we offer both so we can obviously send samples and we do recommend that right let's dive on in let's start at the front of the car so like I say the dash top panel normally it's a retrim kit which includes the material either vinyl or leather pre-cut oversized and then you get some loose foam padding and some loose piping however this customer has gone for the fully trimmed unit here so it's on new woodwork with the vents underneath as you can see and it has the d crash roll rubber on the front edge there so ready to go into the car pipe down the side now it's worth noting as well that the piping sometimes need either completely removing or stripping down to fit into the cars such as the uh, idiosyncrasies of the fitments of the cars bear that in mind then you have the dash fascia refrain kit so it goes to left to right or across the car we make the passenger universal so it doesn't matter about left hand drive and right hand drive you then get the under dash parcel tray elements it's two pieces you get a sewn material piece over vinyl or leather this one's obviously in vinyl for doing the sort of tray circumference uh, with the lip then you get the carpet that sits in it as well this has been done in gray carpet to match the gray wool carpet that he's having on the cockpit uh, floor area so normally obviously it would be a sort of blue to tie in but that's why that's gray on this particular kit you then have the a post footwell panels so this is the right hand obviously it sits up on the vertical like that now the right hand panel had a hole cut out on it and this material here is to trim the bodywork behind that hole so effectively when it's in the car like that it goes like that um, the left hand panel does not uh, you can see left hand panel is trimmed uh, all the way around and no hole in the middle they're both uh, cut out of um, automotive hardboard on our CNC and they have all of the necessary pilot holes etc on them you'll notice that we don't trim the flap on the back edge there that is because that tucks in neatly where the uh, door and draft excluder fit in going back to this one here uh, the reason for the hole I'm led to believe is a rather rudimentary way for Healy to add an extra bit of foot room for the right-hand drive cars 
uh, so that next to the throttle accelerator pedal, your right foot had a bit more room to sit in. I mean, it's gonna be pretty minimal, but apparently that was the reason. Now, obviously, they didn't bother changing them for the left-hand drive or the right-hand drive, so you just kept them in all the way, so that is universal. Uh, you've then got the door top retrim kit. So these are actually trimmed to the bodywork of the car, and they kind of sit at a diagonal angle in the car, so you get a pair of those left and right. Yeah, let's see if I can see those. Yeah, in this book here, we're looking at this piece. So it goes on the kind of underside of this capping here. You then have the main door panels. Now the main door panels are sold as the outer door panels as a pair, and then all of the inner panels are sold separately to the outer door panels. So the main door panels, which are common for the 106 and a lot of the 3000 models, I think it does the BN4s, BN6s, BN7s, BT7s. Um, these are done in hardboard. Again, all necessary pilot holes done. We float over that uh, latch area at the back there. Uh, the way we do these is rather technical, the way it's sewn around that there, but it gives a lovely neat finish. I don't think you'll find any neater panels on the market than the way the, these are done here. And as original, it has the stitch line going around the center of the panel there. Um, as you can see, we actually stitch through the hardboard so it's the final job that we do is stitching round so it gives a proper indentation finish of stitching i've seen a lot of them out there where they cheat they uh they stitch the vinyl first and then trim it which doesn't give a very defined finish you can really see the definition at the moment going around that door panel there so very nicely done right going on to the inner doors so the inner doors, and I put both left and right hands purely for space saving on this table that I'm illustrating on. But these are the sort of the inner door panels or the pocket liners, whatever you want to refer to them as. The ones that are face up at the moment are for the right hand door as you're sat in the car. This part here is done in hardboard and in three pieces, and it's done so it bends around, and that goes at the top part here. Then this part here sits underneath it. Again, it's a, it's a millboard panel, this one, but you can see the crease lines on it, and that's to allow it to bend again. So it bends at the front, sorry, the front, the back, and the bottom there. Now this bottom part here also has a stitch line definition on it as well. And then you have the base liner, so barely seen when it's in the car, but basically sits like that. Effectively, so that piece is going down there in the actual well of the um, of the pocket liner. So they're sold as a set. Uh, it's worth noting that the bottom part there is a new addition. Um, so you might see some extra or photos on our website that doesn't include that, but we do include that as standard as part of this trim panel kit now. Moving back, we've got the B post panel finishes. Uh, so these are the strip finishes. These sit, uh, can't actually see it in this photo, but uh, it's effectively there on the BN4s. Uh, it's almost like the door closes on it. So they are layered hardboard and then tapered, as you can see, to give a curve on it there. So you get a pair of those. Then you get these odd shaped hockey stick B-post quarter panels. Now, again, the way we do these is rather unique and gives a very neat finish. We trim them all the way around as a pocket, leaving this flap here to tuck around. Again, a similar concept to what we do on the A-post there. They're piped, as you can see, all the way around. Well, sorry, not all the way around at all. Um, on this curved section going around here. Uh, sometimes contrasting piping, so just bear that in mind. Uh, and yeah, like I say, we trim them fully enclosed. A lot of other people, again, kind of take a bit of a shortcut and just trim this top part here which uh, this gives a lot to need to finish there. So the um, B-Post quarter panels are hockey stick panels. You then have the wheel arch covers here. Now let's see if I can find, okay, here we are. So that's the end of that hockey stick panel that I just showed you, the B-Post quarter panel. And then these are the wheel arches here. So these are the wheel arch um, 
panel seats actually go onto the bodywork of the car. They have a top stitching detail going across them there, so you get a pair of those. Then just above those, you get the top wheel arch panels. Again, these are relatively new part to our range, uh, thanks to a customer who sent us some nice templates for them. So we've added these. These sit just above that area there. You can't see it in this photo, but they're just behind that, in that sort of gap above the wheel arch and behind the quarter panel there. So you get a pair of those. It's worth noting they're not actually a pair. The left-hand one and the right-hand one are different shapes to one another, so let's bear that in mind. And then finally, at the back of the car, you have the material that sits on the rear bulkhead uh, that separates the main cabin area to the boots trunk area. So it sits behind, this is the hood um, effectively folded down behind it. So if you remove that there, you'd see the bodywork of the car and that material goes from left to right on there. So that's the trim panel kit. Like I say, with the additional extra of the trimmed dash top uh, for the early BN4. Uh, very comprehensive kit. Don't think you're gonna find a more comprehensive kit on the market there. Uh, like I say, we sell it as a kit and it works out cheaper as a kit, but you can buy the parts individually in car sets as detailed there. Hope you found that useful. No, it's a lot of information to intake, but um, yeah, please remember to uh, ask any comments, questions uh, in the area below. And of course, please remember to like, subscribe and share with other classic car enthusiasts. And be sure to check out our website. Cheers.